So, so let's I mean, talk about what that means. So you're talking yeah, about if, if something critical or disaster occurred, you're talking about not losing a day's worth of data, but maybe 15 minutes. Maximum. Big, big, big difference. Maximum. And there are the disruption to the business. I mean, that's, that's potentially hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars or more. A absolutely. And you know, our, our client base is, is in the legal industry. They're in the financial services industry. We call them risk intolerant. I like to also call them high value content creators. If you have an, a lawyer making a, a very nice salary uh, for every hour that he works, it's very important that he keep working. You know, because if, if for every minute that he's not, and especially for every minute that email is down, uh, he, he's not producing uh, in the way that he should. Dave, we got two minutes. So let's, I mean, I wanted to get one, one question in from my standpoint, and then Dave's going to get one last question in. Um, you guys are in the business, uh, cloud service provider business, and, and a lot of your vendors that support you mm -hmm. have to have the cutting edge technology. Dave and I talked about cloud service providers being a key integral part of this new architecture, but. What do they got to do to be successful? What do you what, what do you say to the folks that are trying to interface with you and, and, and get you new technology? What are the key things that you need to run your business going forward? Not today, but with virtualization, it's going to enable a whole new set of requirements. What do you demand from the Falcon stores of the world and other vendors? What what do they got to continue to do or be or do differently? You know, I think the biggest change uh, is something that we have to push all our vendors very hard on, and you can call it whatever you like, uh, on-demand business model, SPLA model, SPLA model. Uh, they have to be able to allow, allow us to consume their services in an on-demand model as well, and we've had to fight that a lot over the last couple of years to reach that uh, with all of our vendors. Yeah. Um, that's changing. It's changing very quickly. Additionally, we need rapid, agile development iteration cycles. I can't come to a vendor and say, this doesn't work right. And they'll go, oh, we'll have that fixed six or eight months from now. No, it's got to be two weeks, right? Four weeks, because you've got to match the speed of the market. And no one is going to sit around and wait for you to, to change a piece of code six months from now. No one. You'll move on.